how to write a book. How do you end the story? So everybody asks, how do you end the story? You know, sometimes people want to try to think of creative ways to end a story or maybe they'll say something cheesy or cliche. And I always recommend just end the story with a powerful call to action. Tell the reader what you want them to do, or if you're writing fiction, just end the story the way that you feel it needs to be ended. If you're a fiction writer, you're going to know how to best end that story. Don't think commercially, don't think of a sequel, just end the story, right? But if you're writing nonfiction, I always recommend a tactical ending. It's like going to a movie at the theater. Don't you hate it when you go to a movie at the theater and they don't give you any resolution, right? Very few films do that. Usually, the directors and the producers know to give the audience that clarity and comfort. And it's the same way with books. It's the same way when I coach people through speeches. Make sure that you give the audience a call to action. What do they do when they put your book down? If you don't want it just to be another book, make sure you give them clarity and a call to action. An appropriate call to action would be, now that you've read this book on leadership, here's a 30-day challenge for you. And you would give them a 30-day leadership challenge, right? You wouldn't just send them to your website. That's what every other nonfiction business author does. You don't wanna do that. You wanna say, okay, uh, now that you've read the last chapter, don't just put this book down. I want you to do these three things. Step one, and then you tell them, you know, what you want them to do. So that's the proper way to end a nonfiction book. If you really want to leverage your brand and your power, be an educator, be a mentor to your reader. Okay, I hope this series has helped you greatly. More to come.